5K. It's such a beautiful day. Isn't it gorgeous? It is gorgeous. I love walking down the sidewalk and look at these beautiful gardens. Look at those flowers. Is that wow. just gorgeous? Tender loving care they get. Why do they do? They do. And I get to look out my window and see this. Um, the irises on the other side of the irises and the roses are about to come out on the other side, but this is beautiful. They're coming. They're coming. It won't be long. Nope. We don't get quite the sun over on that side, so we have to have to wait. And this is your home, Pat. Yes. yes. Welcome. Welcome. Um, you can notice again, um, nice porch, great view. Um, this front porch is always the social part. And uh, that little bird on the rail, yep, that bird is <laughs> visiting. <laughs> uh, the front porch means you want company. And even the, the height of the porch rails. I mean, I love the detail and the size. Why don't you demonstrate that everything. porch rail height for well, us? Well, you know, pretend uh, Kay and Donna are sitting in those chairs, and I think it might be interesting to talk to them. But I'm not sure I really want to get involved in that conversation. So I'll just perch for a while until they offer me a drink or... <laughs> They're talking about something that I want to join in. <laughs> if you want to get serious, you have the opportunity. That's right. That's right. The porch rails, have, the porches have been wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Um, come right in, Kay. This is a C size home. Um, we were really creative when we named our sizes A, B, C, and D. Uh, C is 1,100 square feet. And I chose uh, some of the custom choices. Um, the, the white countertop, the sol solid surface, uh, the lights over the cabinets, and wood floor. And that is. Would, that's, you, would you open that dishwasher just so we can get oh, a sure. sense of the size of it? Yeah. Nice, perfectly sized. Mm -hmm. It is. It is. You know, in my other house, I'd have like, you know, three dishes in this huge dishwasher and I I couldn't run it. I've had the same problem. Yeah. Well, what about this, this island? This island is really fun. In the, we have the island in the C and the D homes. And is it, it's, uh, um, it's heavy enough that it stays in one place if you lean on it, but it's also movable. So some people put it on a diagonal or on a different uh, right angle. And I actually sit here for most of my work. And it also has storage space in it? It does. It has its own drawers. Just um, and nice soft clothes. Um, smaller refrigerator. Um, too bad I have such a large family. I really need a bigger refrigerator for <laughs> more pictures. This is a great feature uh, in the C and the B size. This uh, pantry and I, I especially like to um, highlight that because it along along with all the other little details like the porch rails or this the smaller appliances there's just so much thought gone, that went into every piece of design in in our homes in our whole community actually from the width of the sidewalks to the distance between our front doors and it's such a beautiful day, you don't have a coat, Kay, but I wish you did. <laughs> I would say, Kay, may I hang your wow. in my closet? Wow, what a nice job, a tidy closet. Yeah, Kay's uh, seen this closet pre. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so having time at home does give you a chance to do some things like that. Doubling as a pantry and a coat closet. Yep. How effective. Again, you know, just every closet in the home that has a, a, a hanger rail has extra closet space behind. And that is represents about 11 more inches in a, in a closet in depth. And all that storage. Who would have thought? Another great thing in here is every home has a water cutoff. And since my closet's so clean, I can get all the way in and show you. In case something goes wrong in my home, I can turn the water off and not affect everybody else. Perfect solution. Yep, really nice. 
nice, really nice. Do we want to look at the closet some more? <laughs> <laughs> it's worth showing it off, Pat, yeah, it for is. sure. I know. Um, so, uh, again, lots of light, um, quiet. Um, the windows have are triple pane and they're tinted. Um, they just let in light everywhere. There's just enough tint in those windows that during the day when persons walk by the outside of your house, they can't really see in. That's right. That's right. Um, it, it, it's interesting, you know, if, if we could do a tour of every single house cake, you know, we have four different sizes, A, B, C, and D. And if we went in all six Ds, each D has an entirely different personality. Each C has an entirely different personality. Mm -hmm. um, I have this little space too, and I've had uh, large gatherings and, and been able to use even the, the thought of this space um, makes, it a, makes you able to put a lot of people out there. And this is your private bedroom on the this private is. side of the house. On the private side of the house, yep. Super quiet. It's on the moon side of the house a lot of the times. I love being able to watch the moon. You know, we talked about the blinds before, Kay, um, and they also have great insulation uh, um, possibilities. Because I'm on the private side on the back of the property, I don't often put these up, so... Unless the moon gets too bright and wakes you up too early. Well, that's true. <laughs> that is true. And then uh, in my bathroom, I chose the default in the shower, the white tile. I like uh, white. And um, I think we want to mention also in here the um, solar tube in the shower. It looks like it's on, but that's just the... Uh, this is just That's daylight coming yeah. through. There, there is it on. There we go. Daylight. Can't, can't daylight. tell the difference. Daylight winds. Yeah. And again, the marmoleum floor, mm -hmm. which is really like the newer version of linoleum in that there's no petroleum base in there. Uh -huh. And that keeps it from putting off gases. Super easy to take care of, too. Not don't even have to use a detergent. Right. Just cleaned with warm water. Mm -hmm. And now into your front bedroom. Front bedroom. This is uh, the room that um, sometimes has boxes in it. <laughs> <laughs> You've really been on a cleaning campaign, haven't you, Pat? I have, you know, and I figure we've been here almost eight years. It's about time. <laughs> I have a pull-out bed in here. I like a little color. Mm -hmm. um, I have done my uh, um, closet into um, like office office supply space and uh, printers in there. You've been able to get a full size file cabinet. Yep, tucked into the middle of it. That's handy. It is. It is. Uh, I need to go through there though. <laughs> Too many papers. That'll be the next job. Yeah, uh, yep. Always something on the list. Uh, this uh, C size has one and a half bathrooms. So this uh, bathroom, uh, this half little half bath, has. Can you a turn the light on in there for us? Oh, oh good. Like pocket doors. This is really nice if I do have uh, um, company. Um, especially when my grandkids come, they love to run around <laughs> the circle, <laughs> but it is handy to have an extra bathroom. And this is the this is the default granite, in case uh, anybody has never seen granite. You know, I love living in Edo Creek. I love this community, and I really love my house. It's uh, really a haven. 
You know, we've said so many times when we were marketing Oak Creek that really what we have to sell at Oak Creek is community. And, oh, by the way, a house comes with it. That's right. But a mighty fine house at yes, that. absolutely. Now we're going to transition to the back of the house and have an opportunity to see how people individualize their back areas. This is so nice, Pat. Your redbud tree is coming along very well. It is. That's an Oklahoma Sunrise redbud, special, um, special breed of, of redbud. And uh, that has the yellow and green leaves, uh -huh. light green instead yeah. of the darker ones. And you can see a few of the wildflowers out on the on the berm. I don't know if you can catch They're those. Just They're just starting. Be beginning those purple ones there. And uh, I don't know if people's if people can really see that jack down there. The that little post we down. see right in the middle of the screen. private use. Little garden uh, down there, garden space. They're just looks like the first of the plantings are beginning to emerge. Yep. yep. I really enjoy your pergola. I do too. I, I like it. I had to of course go through the design review team and it was a little bit different than uh, anybody had visualized so um, took, a, took a little bit of uh, working with but it did work out and it I call I don't even call this a deck I call it heaven <laughs> <laughs> good choice of words yep. and I ran my deck all the way uh, along the side and uh, so your deck really connects all the way around three sides of your house it does and you did that just by taking out the little railing that was yep. at the end of the porch yeah Now what's that umbrella over there? What's well, that area? Well, you know, each little, each pod, each group of eight homes has a node, and that uh, table and umbrella is for anybody's use, um, anybody at all who lives here. But it's it's kind of a pod three uh, gathering place. We have nice, nice gardens over there. And this takes us right around to the back to the front of your house. That's right. Some and good conversations go on over here. Oh yeah, yeah. this is a great place to uh, to gather. Well, thanks for sharing, Pat. I love to share my house. Love to share Oak Creek. So come visit. Come visit, perch on my rail or sit at my, my chair. Give us a call anytime and we'll arrange a time when we can welcome you here. Yes.